How to solve a problem like leftover turkey from Christmas Day. Maybe you could do a turkey soup. I think that's a little bit bland for Boxing Day. How about a turkey gel frazy? Absolutely fantastic. So what we're first of all gonna do is we're gonna put in ginger and garlic into the Pressure King Pro. There's a nice sizzle. And then quickly followed by some chilies. Now you can vary the amount of chili depending on how spicy you like it. I like it spicy, so I've got three little chilies chopped up here. This is gonna be really nice and spicy. So we'll stir that around for a minute or two. And then just when that begins to soften nicely, I'm gonna add in my spices. So I've got a cumin and coriander spice mix here. Then I've got some garam masala. You could also put in curry powder. And also some turmeric as well. And what we're trying to do here is just make a nice kind of spice paste. And so that should be just a little bit, a little bit moist. So I've fried that off for a couple of minutes now, and that's formed a really nice paste in the inner pot. So I'm going to add in some whole plum tomatoes. If you've got some baby tomato, fresh baby tomatoes, absolutely fine to add those as well. And I'm just going to stir that for a further minute. Again, just break up those whole tomatoes. We don't want them too lumpy in there. So we've only been cooking for about three or four minutes now. And then we're gonna put in our vegetables. So first of all, I've got some peppers. You can use any color, but I've got some red and yellow peppers here. And then I've got some onion. Now, normally I'd, I'd add onion at the start, but I want the onion to be nice and crispy because the original dish used to be more of a stir fry. So if we put the onion in later, we're just gonna keep, keep a nice crunchiness to that. And then it's not an authentic thing to add, but I've also got some sprouts here. I think we all have sprouts left over from Christmas day. So I'm gonna pop those in as well. Continue to mix the sauce around. Finally, I'm gonna add the leftover turkey. Then again, what we wanna do is we wanna coat the turkey with lots of the sauce. So gel frazy is quite a dry curry, but even though it's dry, I'm gonna put in about 250 mils of water because when I use pressure cook mode, I've gotta have at least that amount of liquid in the pan. So let's just pour that over the top. So I'm gonna close the lid. I'm gonna cancel out of fry mode. Go into pressure cook mode. Press the time adjust twice to select minutes. The default's two minutes, and I'm just gonna twist that up to 10 minutes and then press start. Right, so cooking time's over. I'm literally salivating at the prospect of trying this curry. First thing I've got to do is I've got to release the pressure valve on the Pressure King Pro. So that just takes a few seconds for the pressure to release. Oh wow, that looks awesome. And then I'm gonna serve this up in a bowl. And then I'm just gonna garnish with a couple of coriander leaves that I pick off here. And also, just squeeze a little bit of lime on top. And there we go, that's our turkey gel frazy. So check out the recipe on drewandcoal.com. Better still, if you think you can better this recipe, go onto Facebook and Instagram and share your spicy leftover recipes for turkey. Happy Christmas, everybody.